All right, welcome back to yet again another snapshot video. Today's snapshot video is going to be very pretty small today. I'm going to try to get it out today, so it's going to be a double upload today. Uh, normally, don't do double uploads, but if not a double upload, this will be out tomorrow. So, like I said, back to back snapshot videos. So I'm going to try to get this as fast as possible, get the points across about all everything that's in the new in the snapshot. I already read everything about it. We're good. And uh, yeah, so there's also, a few, uh, there's just a, a few things. There's not a lot of things. We're gonna start here. So if we come here, we have a honeycomb and we have an iron ax. Now there is a few, a thing that they did change with the copper block previously to wax, to get waxed copper blocks, you would have to craft them in a crafting table, but you don't really have to do that anymore. All you have to do is come over here and right click to a copper block and there you go. This is now it now it is a waxed copper block. You don't have to craft it. You don't have to do anything. All you have to do is right click it. I mean, you can probably still craft it, but all you have to do is go and right click it. When you right click it, it is waxed. It is a waxed copper block now. It's not going to oxidize. Nothing. You can wait forever and it will not oxidize. But if you do want it to oxidize, you can come over here and grab a axe and there you go. As you can tell, the white little part of particle effects is now meaning that the copper is not waxed and it will oxidize after a while. So all you have to do is come over with an ax and right click it just like doing this with a honeycomb. Now it's waxed, now it's unwaxed. As you Again, as you can see, that's what they've made and I actually like it. Kind of convenient, kind of convenient. So. Uh, you guys want to wax your copper blocks without having to pick them back up and waxing them all at once. Go ahead and just go get some honeycombs and uh, wax them yourself. If you don't want them to be waxed and you need that certain one to be oxidized, there you go. Uh, so the next thing we have, is, we'll put these away. So the next thing we have is we have the lightning rod. The lightning rod previously could not be waterlogged, but if you put it in the water, now there you go. It can be waterlogged. It is not going to make water go away water is going to be able to go around it it is 100 percent waterlogged so if you want to put this in water for whatever reason you can it, it's not gonna get rid of the water like a full block this kind of does the same thing as other things as well i'm pretty positive with glass the little glass pane rod and whatever have you and yeah little small change little small change but not, not too not too big change uh, of, a, of a change but there you go that's how you that's how you do that so the next thing is now rooted dirt is now bone mealable you can bone meal rooted dirt to have all the nice little roots it's now i mean i don't know why you'd want to do this but if you need the if you need the little uh rooted pieces for whatever reason here you go now you can go ahead and bone meal rooted dirt for whatever you need to bone meal <laughs> rooted dirt for whatever you need to bone, um, bone meal rooted dirt for you can now take the bone meal and just do that and boom you have the little roots here the hanging roots so with that being said th that's pretty much what you can do with the rooted dirt it is now bone mealable and you can do whatever you want with it in the near future but uh yeah kind of Again, small change, probably not really going to be usable, but I mean, for your build, if you need the hanging roots and you're in survival, bone meal is going to be your best friend. Now, the axe does come into play with this one because, as you can tell, if you want to keep these, and the, obviously we all know if you want to keep these in like a certain amount of oxidation, like say this is slightly weathered, you can always do that, and then you can always get rid of the, the wax off of it. But with that also being said, <laughs> you can also take the oxidation off of the coppered blocks as well and you have if you have the weathered coppered block right here it's going to take one going to take two and then this one's going to take three and you can go ahead and scrape the oxidation off of coppered blocks with an axe kind of the similar to the honey and or the honeycomb waxing it and waxing off uh, simple as that and if you want to go ahead just wax all three of these they won't oxidize undo the same thing again you can scrape oxidization off of copper blocks now with an axe and 
it's really helpful, really helpful. Um, whenever you need to get rid of the oxidation off of a copper um, a block, that actually makes sense whenever you need it. And uh, yeah, it also is really easy and a lot more easier just to go over there, right click and do that. Awesome, really cool and amazing. And another thing is, and the last and final thing is, wax coppered blocks can now be crafted into fork uh, iron in or copper <laughs> copper ingots. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be uh, strictly copper blocks. Now you can just do that, and there you go, copper block, and there you go. It's not going to be wax, by the way. But if you want it to be wax, just place it down and do that. There you go. And if you don't want it to be waxed. You can go ahead and take your iron axe, diamond axe, whatever axe you have probably, and go ahead and get rid of the uh, wax that is on it. And with that being said, that is the snapshot of 20W11A snapshot. There you go. There's a few things that have been done with this. And as you can tell, look at that. Already oxidizing right here. Go ahead and scrape that shit off wax it boom it will not oxidize yeah with that being said everyone that is the snapshot hope you guys are excited for 1.17 as much as i am i'm i'm i'm, I'm okay with 1.17 i'm like i said i'm gonna stream it yeah and so yeah if you guys did like the video make sure to go down there click the subscribe button if you guys are new around here and click the like button if you guys like the video and as always i'll see you guys in the next video peace